Here you go. Ah. I'm Hello. on. I'm on. Nice. We did it. <laughs> We're pushing wow. the limit of technology together, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Very happy to see you. We are not, it's light for both of us, but it's absolutely not the same time zone. You're okay. in California, I'm in Israel, yeah. and yeah. we have 10 hours different, but still we can connect and speak a little bit about this work. Yes. So um, first of all, I just need to, to say that you're my teacher. This, you introduced me to uh, Family and Systemic Constellation when I arrived in Israel almost four years ago. I did your training in your roots. It was one and a half year almost, a bit more. And then I just were with you all the time and trying to, to learn more and more, which I'm doing still with you. Even if now I'm practicing, I'm still like your student. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, I'm excited because then on Friday, next Friday, So I'm not going to say all the hours, just check your time zone. In Paris and in Berlin, it's uh, 6 p.m. afternoon. And in California, it's going to be... Uh, 10, I think. Yes, something like this, 10. Yeah. But you just yeah. check after <laughs> because it's <laughs> complicated. Everybody is all around. And this is also the beauty of this that we earn and we learn how to do systemic and family constellation online, which is amazing, which works amazing. And uh, that's it. It's a three hours workshop. And here we, we just want to, to, to share what is going to be about and what, uh, who is it for and uh, what's going what, what's gonna happen. So Sakino, I'm very happy to be here with you and <laughs> let me, let us know. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to be with he you here too, because for me, it's the first time I've never done Insta Live and I'm happy it's working. <laughs> so I was very excited this morning already for this meeting. And um, well, yeah, what is this work about? What is this workshop about? I mean, it's, it's such an... For me, when I started with this work in 1965, no, 1995, 96, uh, it was, I, I remember it was when I sat in the seminar with Bert Hellinger for the first time, I was like overwhelmed from what I saw happening. Uh, it, it, it was kind of totally opposite to what I had done before. It was very subtle. It was very, um, no screaming, no working out, no, no uh, emotional release. Everything was kind of very subtle happening between people. And, and I, was, I was thrilled. So I decided that I would give it a try. So I was training with Bert Hellinger for a long time many years and you were uh, already I, a therapist right when you started. i was yes. i worked as a therapist already since uh 1976 i think <laughs> so if you don't know Sakino and if you need to learn more about her background and all of her experience just go to our website i will write it down later on the comments One. so then we don't have to do that now <laughs> no no so so seeing this work happening just was totally intriguing to me. So I, I studied with him and then I started doing it. I integrated it into my other work and I, mm -hmm. I eliminated few parts of my, all, so to say, old work and, and um, uh, put in what I had experienced as, as so healing. What I think what this work does is it's healing in a very gentle way and especially mm. very old wounds from the past like from childhood where we are experiencing uh many of us have experienced trauma in their childhood and i'm not talking about big abuse or something this is one part of it but there are other traumata that happen in childhood and early in life that we are not even aware of but they kind of rule our lives and with constellation work plus the other things that i'm doing i'm not it, constellation is one part of it and also including all the trauma healing somatic experiencing uh techniques this is kind of a 
of a bundle of of uh, things that I'm doing, and I ex I personally experience it as very very healing. Yeah, this uh, is what I wanted to say also for all the people that are joining and are already facilitators or like already into the systemic work. As you as you all know, it's very different from each uh, person. And Sakino, your way is of course because you are so um, experienced and trauma informed. It's um, it's a gentle way that is so <laughs> efficient and so soft, as you said, that it's amazing to to just look at it. And mm -hmm. when if you participate on on, on Friday, you because sometimes I, I've heard many questions like, oh, la la, but it's scary. It may it be not for me, and I, I really can be scared about this kind of work. Uh, or do I have to do it, or do I have to bring all of my family? So no, you don't have to bring all of your family. Um, you can just participate and observe, and you're already gonna receive a lot of healing. If mm -hmm. you if you want to participate as a representative, which we're not we're not gonna explain all of this, right? Because most of the people know a little bit. Uh, but um, what I wanted to say is, like, if you're a therapist, if you're a coach, or any kind of uh, work that is already into this uh, this uh, theme, it's it's another way to 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 look at it and see how you work with this this is yeah. just what i wanted to add because i saw many facilitators mm -hmm. and you're still the best <laughs> yeah I, th i think it's true i think i have a very special way of working with people in general and and also with this uh, constellation method for instance i am very precise in uh in in how i ask people to invite someone else to be a representative and how to release someone else from the representation. So these are things that are different from other people because I, I find it very important to be respectful because what we are doing in this work is we are serving each other mm. and we are kind of putting ourselves into the service to the healing of others. And by that, we are also healing ourselves. Uh, yeah. And I find this attitude of service in the work with people uh, very important. Like um, the word humbleness comes into my mind. It, it's a very humble way of working. I do not pretend that I know everything when I work with people, neither in groups nor in individual, because I believe that the, the po healing power is inside everybody. Mm -hmm. And so what I try to do is I try to be a kind of a midwife, helping, supporting the process that's already inside the person. And I, when I teach, I try to teach that attitude. So it's, it's not only a method. Yes, the method can be taught. But it's an attitude that I try to convey yeah. when I'm doing the work. So I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but uh, this is this is what I try to to do. So in in this workshop, of course, in in those few hours, you will get a taste. Yes, very few. We, we're gonna try to do two constellations in three hours with a break yeah. in the middle. And the constellation that we're going to do and serve are the ones that are going to be randomly chosen. Uh, yeah. The people that already uh, registered. Uh, yeah. Some of them want to have um, an issue um, that's mm. going to look at an issue. So for those people, uh, then we're going to choose randomly w which one is going to serve the best all the group. Mm -hmm. And... Um, what else? I, I wanted also to, to ask you, like, I, I kind of know the answer, but I want it from you. And does we, does we need any kind of like, uh, it requires any kind of like um, experience before on anything? Oh, nothing. You can come naked with no experience. Yeah. Uh, we'll, I, I know if someone participates, they will benefit. And even only by being in that space, by experiencing something healing happening, because there, this is the main, the main focus of me is, or from, from my side is to support people in their healing process. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can also expect that 
you will not be pushed into anything. Mm -hmm. So whatever shows up will, is welcome. But I wanted to add with this that it's also, it's not so much uh, talking. So the, the private story and all the like narrative and facts of the family are not revealed. It doesn't need to be revealed in order to heal. So yeah. if you are bringing your own story or if you're participating, don't think that it's going to be like a group therapy with a lot of sharing and a lot no. of uh, personal stories and everybody. No, first of all, we are like uh, respecting like strictly confidentiality. What's going to happen during this session is going to stay in this session, of course. And every participant that is present is agreeing to that. And also, it's not so talkative, just um, looking at, at the representative, being together, looking at each other mm. and feeling what's going on is already mm. a lot. Yeah, I, I, I also, I think, I just think about people might ask, how is it possible mm -hmm. uh, to take a role of someone else? And my answer usually is, and I say it here again, uh, it happens when you are chosen or chosen when you are asked to be a representative of a particular person or of something like a quality or something and you agree to take the role, the role will take you. This, of course, is sometimes, it's not explainable. We don't really have an answer why this is possible but we know it is uh, yeah. and there has been a lot of research about um, morphogenetic fields uh, in in the past 30 40 years especially by Rupert Sheldrake for those who are interested uh, that explains a little bit like that we are connected to each other and therefore we can uh, kind of impersonate others uh, easily but it's not something that can be explained really rationally. That's but why it, it's really an experience. And yeah. as I can share my experience that I love to be representative because this is where I find the more benefits yeah. myself, is like you're taking a role and you feel and you like have thoughts, emotion, body sensation that you recognize because you have them before or not even, mm -hmm. but you know that it's not yours. And then you yeah. can really accept them and allow them to be. And with this, it's also, um, it's also interesting. It's, um, it's, it's like feeling something that it's, it's really touching you for real, mm -hmm. but it's not yours. So it's not damaging you in a way. It's not taking yeah. you over so, so yeah. well. you yeah. can, you can have a little distance with this. Yeah. I don't know if and it's uh, the role you are it's gone it's, it's exactly not, but what is staying with me that's what I experience when I take roles what what stays with me is the healing effect this always uh, I remember last half year ago I was joining a seminar myself as a participant and I was uh, in almost every constellation, I was chosen into a particular role. And that role was so powerful for me. And I realized by having that role, uh, it was all about healing love, the roles that I uh, got asked to take. And that stayed with me. And I was kind of uh, going with that in my own inner process. What, what does it mean that I'm chosen for this role? Maybe I'm at a point in my life where healing love is, is more important than any, anything else. So this is what I find so very, very uh, uh, touching in this work, that, mm. that when we are serving each other by taking a role for someone else, uh, it does something for, for me too. It heals something in me too. Yeah. So uh, in all aspects, um, being in, and even if you're not chosen for a role, you are in this field and, mm -hmm. and, and it's a healing field. So you take something with you that will stay with you. Yeah. This is and, what I and, like. And it's also for me, the, the experience of doing it online is, uh, is a benefits mostly. 
because mm. first of all it's happening the same way that in presence mm -hmm. and we are saving a lot of time and energy by going somewhere and being and the most the most important for me i think it's really valuable is to be in presence with people that are all over the world having completely different history different mm. life different ex family experience or oh, yeah and different society system, everything. And this yeah. is very rich because we always go to the core of the human being. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. this is uh, the same and universal for all of us. Yeah. I don't know if anyone has questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have questions or not. If not, what, can, what else can we say? All the practicality, they can ask questions after in private to you, mm -hmm. to me. Um, yeah. It's, it's going to happen on, on next Friday at 6 p.m. in Paris or in Berlin. And for the ones that do, are not uh, native uh, English speaker, we are not. Both of us, Sakino and I, we're not also. She's from <laughs> Germany. I'm from France. Yeah. And it's not so, um, as I say, we are not talking all the time. So, yes, you will understand. I'm saying this for other Frenchies that are always scared to take any workshop in English. <laughs> they always think that they don't know. <laughs> But, yes, you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. That's it. So it's three hours. It's only three hours on Friday. It's a very little taste of what is systemic and family constellation with you. And then we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Oh, we don't know. Both of us, yeah. we don't know what's going to happen. No. And, and also we forgot to mention maybe that this is a taste of what, what we are going to do in this online training that we are planning, which is yes. September, which... which uh, Uh, might be interesting for some exactly people. it's a training that i've done in person uh four years ago that is completely amazing and the last training i was assisting you and i can say that i was just and we were all of us we were shocked to see the the changes that happened into all the participants yeah. 16 person that yeah. worked we were together for like a year and a half and it was just amazing how things changed everybody were like setting and amazing transformation happened in their life in a positive yeah. way and everybody It's were like saying the same and this is why after this training that had to be <laughs> online because of covid that yeah. we decided that uh, yes it will be amazing for you Sekino to spread your work online yeah. uh, in addition to all your other workshop that you are still doing in person And it's starting in October. It's basically the first weekend uh, of the month. But also you will have details and we will talk about it later. Maybe we'll do another live because now we like it. <laughs> I like it too. It's, it's very um, yeah, fun. Yeah, it's fun. I like spontaneous. I mean, you will notice that when you do work with me. I like to be just doing things out of this present moment and uh, I always most of the time I all follow my my intuition my uh, what I feel in that moment and most of the time I would say 99% of the time uh, it's good to do that nice. and also part of the teaching trust your intuition so if you feel like joining this workshop just do it yeah you, you only you can only invest I don't know 80 <laughs> Three hours of your time. So, so uh, try yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. I, Just try I, this. Yeah. So thank you so much, Sakino. And uh, have a great day for me. It's evening, but have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> and feel free, But all of you, to ask me questions and on the side. And, and, and I will be available to answer if I can. And, what, and that's it. It's next Friday. So we have one more week to register yeah. and to join the group. Okay. Bye, Sakino. Have a great, great day. You too. Have a great evening and night. Shabbat shalom for you. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, now what do we do? Here you go. Now I have to close this and I don't really know how. <laughs>